I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the default keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. Now we're going to do the second half of the default keyboard shortcuts in the view menu, starting with the region marker manager. On the PC, it's Alt Shift Control R, and on the Mac, Option Shift Command R. Hit that keyboard shortcut, and that opens up the region marker manager right here. And we can see our markers or our regions in one window. Change the color, their name, and so on, and toggle it with the same keyboard shortcut. Show it or hide it. Then over here, we have the effects browser. And the keyboard shortcut is Shift F. Hit that keyboard shortcut, and it opens up the effects browser right here. Now it's going to default to the last selected track we had. So we first might want to select the track we want to put the effect on. Like the snare track, hit the keyboard shortcut, and it's going to add that effect to the snare track. And again, we can close it with the same keyboard shortcut. Then over here, we have the media item properties. And the keyboard shortcut is F2. So if we select a media item and hit F2, it opens up the media item properties dialog for that item. And we can readjust any of the attributes for that item or multiple items. If we select multiple items, F2 opens it up and F2 closes it. Then we have the big clock. On PC, it's Alt C, and on Mac, it's Option C. And if we hit that keyboard shortcut, it opens up the big clock. But notice it also opened up the Docker because the big clock is in the Docker. If we took it out and made it separate, it's going to toggle as a separate floating window. Close it or open it like that. And the same thing for the performance meter. On PC, it's all Control P, and on Mac, it's Option Command and P. Hit that keyboard shortcut. It opens up the performance meter, but it's docked in the Docker, just like the video window. And again, if we separate it, it's going to open up as a separate floating window. Then down over here, we have the navigator. On PC, it's all Control V. And on Mac, it's Option Command and V. Hit that keyboard shortcut. It opens up the navigator right here. And we can jump around or scroll to see the entire project in one window. You can move it around, up or down, to navigate the entire project and hide it with the same keyboard shortcut. Then down over here, we have the virtual MIDI keyboard. On PC, it's Alt B, and on Mac, it's Option B. If we hit that keyboard shortcut, it opens up the virtual MIDI keyboard, which is really useful if you don't have a USB MIDI keyboard. We can use a computer keyboard instead. Just make sure our tracks are set to virtual MIDI keyboard as the input. Make sure this window is in focus. And we can use the computer keys to trigger MIDI, as we can see right down here. Again, we can close it with the same keyboard shortcut. And then finally, right down here, we could show or hide all the floating windows in our project with this keyboard shortcut. On PC, all Control F, and on Mac, Option Command F. So let's open up the video window, the big clock, and the performance window. 
let's say we wanted to close all these windows with one keyboard shortcut. Just hit on PC, all control F, and on Mac, option command and F. And if we hit that keyboard shortcut, it hides all the floating windows at once. And we can see it again with the same keyboard shortcut, like this. So we can jump back and forth to show them or hide them with one keyboard shortcut. So that's pretty much it. That's the default keyboard shortcuts in the view menu. In the next video, we're going to check out the default keyboard shortcuts in the insert menu. Thanks.